Biocon got a shot in the arm over the weekend when the U.S. Pharma watchdog cleared a biosimilar drug jointly developed by the company and Mylan. Uh, the breast and stomach cancer drug is expected to give competition to the Herceptin and is the first biosimilar jointly created by the two drug makers to get a clearance from the U.S. FDA. Joining us now to talk about the potential of this drug and more is Chairman and MD of Biocon, Kirin Mazumda Shah. Ms. Shah, thanks so much for taking the time out. Can you give us more details on your strategy for this drug? Well, to begin with, of course, it's a huge milestone for us. It's a very expensive program, which, which has had a lot of investment from both companies. And therefore, we are very, very pleased uh, at this approval. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the commercialization strategy for this molecule, Mylan is going to be the commercial front. And uh, they have basically uh, entered into a settlement with Roche, which allows them to enter the U.S. market on a given date, which of course I can't disclose. But having said that, this approval also helps to open other doors to ROW markets, which are uh, worth about $2 billion at this point in time. So we believe that this opens up a huge opportunity for both companies. Uh, of course, in the U.S., we hope that the European approval will follow soon. And, you know, this is a very, very important program for us in the oncology space uh, and something that, uh, you know, we hope uh, will, will, will really give us rich rewards. Is the Bengaluru plant now compliant uh, with all regulators or are there any pending outstanding issues? Well, as you know, we had uh, an ins a couple of inspections. There was a pre-approval inspection, which was, uh, we thought, fairly uh, well uh, done. I mean, we thought we had complied quite well until we had a May inspection, which threw up some, uh, you know, uh, 483s, which were of concern. But that was recently then categorized as VAI, which meant that they accepted our CAPA plan. We have completed most of the CAPAs now, uh, and therefore it puts us in a position where we have, uh, you know, a, a pretty uh, confident level of regulatory compliance, which uh, doesn't give us any concerns either in Europe or in US at this point in time. Uh, market position for this drug, and uh, what is the scheduling going ahead, Michelle? So as I mentioned, this is a $6 billion global opportunity. The U.S. opportunity itself is $2.5 billion. Europe is $1.5 billion. Uh, I don't see, uh, you know, too much of competition in the early years because we just have a couple, few players who are developing this program. So we do expect three to four players, both in Europe and U.S. But, you know, Given the fact that this is a very large opportunity with a few players, we believe that this is a very good, uh, you know, opportunity for all companies involved. Uh, can you give us more details of your partnership with Mylan and what are the financial aspects of this partnership? Well, I won't be able to share the clear financial aspects, but suffice to say that this is a profit share arrangement. Of course, Mylan gets a bigger share of the profit, but we get a pretty decent return as well. So I believe that this is a very, very important partnership, uh, which has uh, succeeded in bringing the first very important program to the U.S. Uh, you know, market. Uh, and we expect that you know, the pipeline of products that we have will also basically follow this very important approval. Okay, and which are the, let's wrap this with a final thought from you. What are the new drugs that are in the pipeline right now, Ms. Shaw? So, as you know, Pegfil Grastim is the next one in, where we expect a, a, an early approval from US FDA because that got a complete response letter on uh, basically the requirement that we needed to update our uh, CAPA completion. Uh, so, we expect that, you know, that will happen very soon. We have you know, both uh, uh, Pegfilgrastim and Trastuzumab to be approved by the EMA, which we also hope will happen soon because they've accepted our resubmission. And we expect that this review process along with reinspection will give us an early approval. We also have Glargine being reviewed by both, uh, 
you know, the, the FDA and EMA, and we also have bevacizumab in phase three trials. So, you know, we have a pretty good uh, pipeline of development uh, following this approval. Okay, Misha, I'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for taking the time out and joining us.